Governor of Veterans Day is coming up. Obviously, you being yep. a veteran yourself, you have some strong. Bet on a vet. What what more should the government be doing to help veterans? Because there's been well, so you know, it's very interesting. I think the the uh, president has made this a uh, pretty high priority. Um, there was a lot of uh, a lot of pretty horrible stories about wait lines, about people getting appointments and showing up and the doctors not being ready. So I think the president has appointed a. Uh, We've got a new leadership at the VA. I think the scrutiny uh, within the, re the oversight committees has been heightened considerably. The president's made it a high priority. So I think you ought to give the president and his new VA secretary, let's give them a year or so to shake things out and see if uh, access improves and service improves. Uh, and I'm going to be optimistic and say because it becomes such a high priority for the president, I'm, I'm hopeful that we can get it done. Why has it been so difficult? Because that's been a, through various administrations. Well, you know, I, been I, tough, I wish I could ball. tell you. It's like anything else. You know, I, sometimes people think the bigger bureaucracies are better bureaucracies. It's kind of counterintuitive in my gender. Just because you're bigger doesn't necessarily mean you're more effective. So I think you've asked a good question. Ultimately, it comes from leadership at the top and holding everybody down accountable. And I think this new leader, with backing the president, I mean, it's to start holding some people accountable. And if not, that person will go. But I think the president has made this a pretty high priority, and I think it's important that you follow up on it.